Hey marketing leader, today's video is inspired by a sales call that I have just yesterday with a company here in the UK that approached us to build a new website for them. And as always, as part of the process, there was a little bit of you know discovery phase to it. So we wanted to really know and understand their angle and why they approached us in the first place apart from us being awesome I, it's just like what's the motivation between uh, behind them thinking about the new website and it just kept me thinking as i was listening to their answers that we are not a really good match and therefore this video where i want to really discuss with you what role a website plays in your business and why is, it in, why is it important to really nail it down? Just because if you know what, what role it plays in your business, you can then decide whether you want a new website or you want to improve an existing website, or maybe, just maybe, the issue is somewhere else beyond the website, or maybe it, it touches website, but also things beyond it as well, such as maybe branding, or some kind of messaging or marketing strategy with websites just a small part of. Let's take a look. What can we learn from my thoughts based on the call and if there's anything else that we can use to make the right decision for our business. Let's dive into it. Let's take a look at invalid reasons why you should get a new website. So again, if your reasoning behind a new website is one of these, think again. First on the list, growth stage or any kind of expansion. It's just the nature of business, isn't it? I mean, if your business is not growing, this probably website won't fix it. There's more to it than just a website. And even though a website might seem like an obvious choice, I think you should fix, just, just take a few steps back and fix things there. Be before they actually trickle down onto a website which you try to build because you are really risking throwing money into a pit. Another one of those is shift in the offering or the, the shift in focus of the offering that you guys have. These things can really be communicated via different copy on your website. You can reshuffle your navigation and by all means feel free to hire a UX expert to do it for you but overall if it's just the product if it's just the message the feature behind the product or a service just communicate it using a different copy add extra section um, maybe tweak the architecture of information but really I mean building a new website is probably just overdoing it next we have perception of the company it's probably my favorite so the perception of company have changed or the company is no longer reflected by the website great but then do branding okay branding is really where it all starts branding gives you a new tone of voice branding gives you a better indication of what imagery to use what words to choose what to avoid in terms of iconography and and some kind of spacing around the logo or important crucial elements it might also include illustrations uh, that we could use on the website going forward so start there it's a good problem to have but don't fix it with the website straight away go for the branding first brand awareness it's very similar to running ppc ad campaign for brand awareness it's difficult to measure it's quite intangible and it's not just the website's goal to increase that brand awareness on the market and increase your market share you have to do so much more you have to actually work around the website to to get that brand awareness going before website can do its job so again just double check if building a new website actually gets you closer to the goal of increasing brand awareness but again it's quite difficult to measure how do you measure brand awareness i guess on the other side of the stick by increased sales but then can you actually attribute that spike directly to your brand awareness exercises mm, 
Not sure. Mellow grounds, you know? And this one, I, I, it wasn't part of the call yesterday, but um, it, it, it found its way to me at some point in the past because someone said so, like a head of operations or investors. They, they thought that website is just, you know, meh, which is probably a good reason to spend money on a website. It's not. <laughs> It's not, don't do it, okay? There needs to be like a proper reason to build a new website and someone said so isn't it. Okay, let's move on to the good stuff. What are the common valid reasons why you should get a new website as a marketer, as an ambitious business that is really pushing for it? First, it's not facilitating sales. No sales, no growth. Next, it's not generating leads. You want leads before you can sell to those people, before you can grow your business. That's still second. <laughs> Three, nurturing existing leads. You want your website to push people down the sales funnel. And this is a really good reason to build a new website if it's not doing that for you. Four, it fails to deliver content, any kind of content, downloads, blog articles, press releases, which are important to, to build that credibility, to show you as an expert in the market. If it delivers to communicate that thought leadership from, from your team, yeah, you might look into it. Also, that the sixth, I think, is that? Yeah, I think that's six. If your company has gone some kind of rebrand exercise, that's probably also a good idea to replace the website because there's so much change that it's almost fruitless to trying to fix what's already there. You just might as well start from scratch just like you did with the brand. I've lost count, I don't know. Another one, technical performance is crippling your marketing endeavors, huge one. It's really huge one. If your website is some kind of slow or it just not showing the content the way it's supposed to, or it's just difficult to use in terms of, you know, usability, accessibility, any kind of those issues that stem from technical side of things, it directly impacts your ad score, user experience, the likelihood of establishing any kind of relationship with your website visitor it just go the list goes on and on if your technical performance is not up to the task it's possible that you have gathered so much technical debt that it's just better to start again rather than try to pay it off by fixing issues with the existing solution another one big one it lacks content editability. As a marketer, you need to jump in, change things as and when needed almost as soon as possible because there is always a new idea for marketing campaign, Google Ads campaign, landing page, newsletter page, any kind of initiative that you guys have in mind. You will need to log into the back end of a website, drag and drop stuff, build it up very quickly, 10-15 minutes, assuming you have a copy, and then just launch it. So if your website needs developers' attention to tweak, change things, re reorganize sections, maybe edit headings, etc., well, you might need to grab something else um, because that will help you a lot. And last one, it's not an obvious one, if learning curve to using your website, editing your website is high and, and just, just very difficult, then your hiring and training is more expensive. It takes longer, it takes more man hours, and it's just not efficient. So if your website is not intuitive to use, it will cost you money. And the only way to, to fix it is to really build the new website on top of some kind of co content management system that's easy to use and most people know about. In the middle of that call that I keep referring to, I was really trying to peel that onion down to its core because I was asking questions like, why are we even doing this? And the person that I was talking to was just not in a position to answer the question so that I can, so that I can actually help. There were those vague, ambiguous words flying around like, digital transformation, digital solutions, and, and that perception of, of company. I'm like, okay, yeah, 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 but, but why? And that's when I lost them. They were like, okay, but I don't, what do you mean? So I immediately knew that there's, 
there was no real purpose to that change apart from a hunch and I can't really work with a hunch and so shouldn't you so there is that next time you think about building a new website keep these in mind ask yourself why a couple of times or if someone tasks you to find an agency to build a new website challenge them on that a bit because that will make your research on the market and those interviews with agencies much more efficient and the agenda will almost create itself so that's it for me thanks so much for coming and watching that video now tell me in the comments what was the main reason you replaced your website last time i look forward to hearing from you again thanks so much see you in the next video bye bye